still getting to know each other. How do the players handle this time of year? Well, I think the really good players use it as a time to develop and grow. They're not necessarily results-oriented. They're more process-oriented. Learning new tendencies of teammates, and the rookies are just trying to figure out where they can get in and fit in. Now, here's Thomas. Pass to Crowder. No good that time. Nice D from Durant. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Jacks up a three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Now smart. That's game he had 13. Outside Thomas. Shot clock at six. And Olenek kicks to Thomas. And the three off target. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Honestly, guys, Curry is the best three-point shooter I've ever seen. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Inside, Horford. Verizon grabs the board. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Outside Durant. That one's in his first shot this game. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Thomas. Checking some stats on him right now. He's averaging just around 22 and a half points a game. Yeah, IT is unbelievable. I mean, the ability to play off pick and rolls, the ability to make plays for himself and for others, top notch. Here's KD after the basket by Boston. the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, you're scratching your head with how do you defend a guy like Durant. I mean, his length, his speed, ball handling all allow him to draw fouls easily. First free throw is good. Such a unique player, Kevin Durant, pure shooter, incredibly skilled, all at nearly seven feet tall. Austin making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Durant nails both of them. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Last outing for Golden State. They won that game against the Raptors. Timeout, timeout. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Uh, once that happens, then you're in trouble. While there's a chance, let's show you the teams that have thrived on the fast break this season. The Warriors, number one. And that's a fun category. Most fans love that kind of up-tempo offense. And these guys are the best in the game playing that style. Left side, smart. And here is Thomas. Horford with the screen on Curry. Down low. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Thomas. And that's Horford for you. I mean, that's what he does. He's a guy who brings toughness and great concentration to what he does in the paint. Now, here's Durant. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Lock at six. Curry outside. 
Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. Six-point game. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Really easy to tell that this is an important game. I mean, I don't know if the crowd will get a chance to take a breath in this one. And here is KD after Marcus Smart got his shot to go from deep. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Had the space there, but it's offline. One fifty-six left to play in the first. Olenek, a screen on Curry. To the inside. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a quick look at some of the numbers for Stephen Curry. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Now here's Curry. 17 points in his last outing. Out to the wing. Outside, KD. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. KD's got seven points. In rhythm, quick trigger, KD at his best. Jennings passes to Horford. Rozier kicks to Jennings. Celtics passing it around. Back to Rozier. Shoots over Curry. The rebound by KD. Warriors leading by four. Pass to Looney. Now here's Curry. Launches it. And Horford pulls it down. Down against Durant. Down kicks to Rozier. And Stephen Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors with some changes. McGee, he's checked in for Verja. Clay Thompson comes in for Kevin Durant. And Henderson subbed in for Curry. Here's Thomas. He has yet to score. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And although Thomas is a generous 5'9", he does not fear anybody. I mean, he takes it up strong. We'll see if he can cash in at the line here. Shooting two. And the first one drops. You've got to be crafty to succeed in this league. At 5'9", Thomas is just that, a skilled, savvy point guard. Cooper, he's checked in for Henderson. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Warriors leader. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's the lob to the hoop. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Nineteen seconds left here in the first quarter. Thomas deciding where to go with it. And it's all evened up. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Thompson with it. This one for three. And that one released in time, but no good. Tie game in Boston. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return.
And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. It's Thomas on the wing. You know, Greg, coming into the season, Russell Westbrook was the heavy MVP favorite. Now that he's the face of the Thunder franchise, I think he welcomes it. Yeah, Westbrook and Durant were an incredible duo for eight years in OKC. But Durant left for the Bay Area, and now people are calling this season the revenge tour for Westbrook. We all know he can stuff the statue. Showing off the range, making the defense stand up and take note. It's Crowder on the wing. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Here's Thompson. Oh, Thompson, tough shot. You know, sometimes you forget about how big Clay is as a guard. I mean, he can take a hit and still finish shots down low. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Burks sets a screen for Crowder. Shot clock at five. That's at five from 18. The Warriors pull it in. That's one he knows he should have drained. Henderson outside. Looney passes to Thompson. And a miss there on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Stolen by McGee. Anderson with it. Picked up by Brown. Henderson outside. Thompson finds Livingston. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first timeout, foul. Timeout. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. Some changes for Boston. Kelly Olenek comes in for Burks. And it's Rogier in for Jay Crowder. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Kevin Durant comes in for Henderson. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's KD. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Brown. Rozier looking around. And Fremont Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Curry's checked in for Sean Livingston. Here's Rogier. Nine points last game out. Over Thompson. And it's Rogier missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. And Green gets it to go. And one thing about Draymond, he almost invites contact. Master Olinick. Here's Zeller. On the wing, Rogier. He's covered by Thompson. Six on the shot clock. It's good. Rogier's got his first bucket of the night. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Leading by five. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense. In that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. And it's Brown missing. Warriors leading by five. Durant kicks to Curry. For three, it's hauled in by Brown. 
Celtics have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Rozier the pass to Zeller. Back to Rozier. Outside Thomas. Five on the clock. McGee with the block. Let's check out the leaders in field goal percentage as a team in third, the Warriors. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots, and it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Al Horford has checked in for Zeller. Crowder comes in for Jalen Brown. And Marcus Smart has subbed in for Rozier. The Warriors also with a sub. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Thompson. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Celtics trail by eight. They could use a big time shot out, here to out. get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now a timeout called by Boston. And some changes here for the Warriors. Anderson Verajau's checked in for JaVale McGee. And it's Thompson in for Sean Livingston. 130 left now here in the second. Now here's Smart. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Outside Thomas. Five to shoot. Puts it up. Horford, no luck. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Green finds Curry. Verizhao with a screen on Thomas. Curry outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Crowder, the pass to Thomas. Outside Crowder. Green against Thomas. Back to Crowder. Lets it go with a three. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Durant's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 27 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And Green slams it in. Green showing you some real attitude on that throwdown. Celtics trail by 10. Now Thomas checking some stats on him right now. He's averaging just around 22 and a half points a game. Olenek a screen on Curry. And Thomas, here we go. And Olenek with the basket on the assist by Thomas. Olenek's got six points. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll get you back to the action after this break. It is a wonderful night for basketball and a wonderful time to get a quick, wonderful rundown of how the wonderful West looks early on in this wonderful season. Well, looking at the Warriors, it's still early and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but right now they are easily the best team in the league. Well, we knew they'd be good, but we didn't know they'd be this good. And returning our attention to this game, an impressive first half for Golden State. I have some research. And that'll do it for halftime. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Warriors leading by eight. And here is Curry. Thompson outside. A three-pointer, no good. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide-open look. Outside, Crowder. 
Verizhao against Olenek. Outside Thomas. Clock at four. Over Curry. Thompson with the rebound. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Outside Curry. That's the three fly. Oh, Curry, so accurate from three point range. As a defender, it's got to be a futile feeling when Curry's in the zone like this. Horford with the screen on Thompson. To the paint. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And there's the foul on Jake Crowder. That'll be his second foul of the game. Al Horford is a really high IQ big guy. I mean, he also does a little bit of everything for this team. He's extremely valuable. 90 seconds now into the second half. Here's Thompson. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Outside Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. No oh, good with the triple. Celtics trail by nine. Smart passes to Horford. And finished off by Horford. Well, you can't afford to give Horford that type of advantage inside. As soon as you do that, you're cooked. Durant with it. He has seven. Outside Curry. Takes the three. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Durant's got three assists tonight. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Time called here. Time the out, Celtics out. decide to talk it over. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Just killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch, and you're just asking for him to drop another triple on you. And a moment here to check out the stats for Isaiah Thomas. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And yet, he's a true professional at the free throw line. It's a part of the game where he excels. You want him at the line for you in crunch time. Verizhao comes with the double team. Olenek can't hit. Warriors leading by 10. Green dishes to Thompson. Now here's Curry. 15 points in the game. Over Thomas. Again, Curry missing. And so it's Smart who brings up the ball for Boston. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That's game one of a three-game road trip. To the middle, here's Horford. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Horford's got six in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Jalen Brown's checked in for the Celtics. Terry Rozier comes in for Thomas. And Golden State also making a change. Looney's checked in. The Warriors have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Thompson outside. Pass to Curry. Misses the way. Celtics trail by eight. And it's Looney with the rebound. Golden State's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And Thompson kicks to Kurt. There's the triple. A Crowder pulls it in. The Celtics have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Horford sets a screen for Brown. 
inside. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Brown. Ten points for Horford. Well, it's so hard to stop Horford when he's that physical down low. Most defenders have a tough time dealing with him. Pass to Curry. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. Olenek. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. KD against Rogier. Thompson looking for an opening. KD on the wing. Up again. Terrific timing by Durant on the putback. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Horford with the screen on Durant. Crowder from outside. Warriors with the rebound. 40 seconds left in the third. Outside, KD. Durant with another miss. Celtics trail by 11. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Rozier kicks to Brown. The kick out to Rozier. With the shot. And it's rebounded by Anderson Verja. Now Curry. Beyond the arc. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. We'll return shortly. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Boston shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Back to Thomas. Shoots over Livingston. Thomas, no luck. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Cooper, the pass to KD. Top of the key jumper is on the mark. Durant's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. Well, that's virtually impossible to defend. I mean, with Durant's length, those long arms, and the high arcing shot that he shoots, the best you can do as a defender is challenge him and hope he misses. And the dunk by Zeller. Being unselfish and finding his team the best shot out there, I like it. On the wing, Green. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And stolen by Thomas. Here's Brown. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Pass to Livingston. Back to Green. And here's Livingston. Over Burks. Livingston, that's good. Livingston's got his first basket. Celtics trail by 13. Outside, Rozier. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. And clearly an important juncture. He's going to have some choice words with his team. Anderson Verajaus checked in for the Warriors. Adams comes in for Cooper. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. 
Now, coach told his team we're up. Take care of the ball. Don't give them the game. Playing smart basketball will clinch a victory for us. Guys? Thank you, David. Livingston looking for the opening. Over Thomas. And the Warriors miss again. Celtics have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. To the paint, here's Zeller. That's good, and it throws Gier with the assist. Zeller's got it back down to single digits for Boston. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Now here's Livingston. Defense right on him. The wide open look for Durant. Cans it from downtown. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion time out, time at out. halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. The Celtics call time. And a new group in for the Celtics. El Horford's checked in for Tyler Zeller. Kelly Olynyk comes in for Burks. Crowder, he's checked in for Brown. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Rozier. And then for Golden State, Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Adams. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. Outside, Smart. This ball movement by Boston. Thomas kicks to Smart. Olenek sets a screen for Smart. Pass to Olenek. Now Thomas shoots over Curry. Boston again missing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Celtics trail by 12. Here's Smart. Boston, no good that time either. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Curry with it. Now Thomas defending. They get it back. Durant. Verizhao dishes to Durant. Verizhao. It's good on the putback. Verizhao's got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. Jalen Brown's checked in for a limit. The Celtics call time. For Boston, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Thomas. It's amazing what Thomas can do with that rock. I mean, he's got perfect control of the dribble leading into the shot. Curry passes to Verizhao. Now Thompson, guarded by Smart. Off target from outside. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Celtics. 143 left here in the fourth quarter. Horford with a screen on Curry. Thomas, it's a wide open look. No good on the three. Warriors leading by 12. Virajau setting the pick for KD. Again, the miss by KD. Smart on the wing. Headed by Green. Horford with a screen on Curry. It's Thomas outside. The Warriors pull it in. But sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Warriors. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W.
And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And looking at the trajectory of the season, this is the first of two meetings on the year. So this will be a solid win to go up 1-0 in the season series here against the Celtics. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Kevin Durant. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's good from Durant. He hits both from the strike. 26 seconds left in the game. Rozier up top. He's covered by Livingston. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Woo-hoo. Grown man ball there. Converts through the whistle. That's nice. On the free throw, no good. You know, Rozier is known as an energy guy, but he's also a talented scorer who has a real hunger to continue to improve. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA.